What is up guys? In today's video, I made the lowest recoil loadout possible in Warzone. So we're going to be using the M13 assault rifle with the MP7 submachine gun. Perks, equipment, pretty standard or just up to your preference. For the M13, we're going to be using the Monolith Expressor, Tempest Marksman Barrel, the Ranger Foregrip, 60 round mags, no tack laser. And then your choice of optic, I'm going to be using the VLK in this gameplay, but the Combat Corp or the PBX-7 holographic sight are very good with the blue dot reticle. So that's what we're going to be using on our assault rifle. Pretty standard loadout on the M13. This is pretty widely known as like the lowest recoil assault rifle in Warzone. And it gets that like reputation for a reason. It has incredibly low recoil. And then for our MP7, we're also going to be using Monolithic Suppressor, the FSS Recon Barrel, Merc Foregrip, 60 round mags, and then your last attachment, you could go a few different ways. Stippled grip tape, one of the stock options, maybe sleight of hand. But I'm going to be going for tack laser just to cut down that ADS time as much as possible. I typically like to use 5 milliwatt laser for my submachine guns. But since this build is all about having low recoil, we, we want to aim down sights a lot. And that's why I'm going to be using the tack laser attachment to get a faster a ADS time. And then it also helps improve with aiming stability, which is really nice. Had a lot of fun playing with this loadout. It's surprisingly good. It's really easy to use. And one of the nice benefits of having basically no recoil is that both of these guns are prime candidates for stopping power which is actually somewhat prevalent in warzone and it can get you a lot of kills in situations where you might not have gotten the kill otherwise i've noticed myself dying to stopping power a lot recently and it's actually really annoying so both of these guns can take advantage of stopping power quite well both of them are incredibly low recoil this is a really fun loadout to just run around and be brainless because you really don't have to think about controlling recoil at all i'm gonna let the gameplay play out if you guys do enjoy this video or want to see more like it remember to like the video subscribe if you want to see more and comment down below what you think of this class setup come here This guy on the roof. Dude, I don't know why my bunny hop didn't work there, that was scary. Cause like the Uzi is definitely better up close, but like that gun melts. Like if he shoots his shots, he go down so fast. Why oh, they gotta be rude? Can you get up the hill car? I don't think the size ever really is gonna peak, but I have two some techs. Nice. I was hoping the sim would just force him to peak and then we could beam him, but go up on him. Commando's only in the key though. I use it on the AMAX sometimes too. It just it's a type of recoil. I don't know. Like I think I prefer Ranger on the, the AMAX. That I mean, I did just get 20 with commando on it. I, I just, I feel like it's like, they're so close. But it doesn't really matter. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. Gas also use it on the M4. New safe zone located. I'll try. Thanks so much. Moving here. Is he not even up there? Oh my god, I'm so blind. What are you doing, sir? ...to people and then just take their power from them. I feel like that's actually pretty sick. I don't care about superhero shit, but it's just a big-ass parasite. Too tired. Oh 
he was getting that loadout. It's so nice being able to peek snipers and shit on them because I get first shot. Like after playing, every time I go from playing Cold War to playing this, like I appreciate that so much because snipers just eat bullets in Cold War. They do not care in the slightest that you just shot them. What's up, Scala? This guy has to make a play eventually. He could wrap far. Enemy UAV overhead. Did my car fuck? My car rolled too far, I can get naded. If my car was right there, I could just stay there though. You're so lost, my dude. How did he not just kill me? He missed like 47 bullets on me when I was down. We got recon online. The AO. What is this guy doing? That's so annoying. If he would have just like taken cover from the guy shooting him, I would have got the kill. Ah. Fucking whore! Oh, oh my gosh, she's so mad, Henry. I'm driving. That's what we this time. Fortunately, I killed my car there too. Alright, one's bank and one's like in the fast food place. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. I want these cars. We're zone. We're in it currently. I probably should have bought another UAV. That's the downside of the M13 right Nothing there. We just beam that guy and we have nothing to show for it. Like we just gave away our position for no reason. And I doubt he overpeaks this side again. What is this guy doing though? This guy might be trying to flank me. I think I just heard something. Yeah. I was throwing those nades and shit to try to bait him into pushing me. I didn't want him to just to leave and take this car. Hello. 
I kind of need ammo now. Is there a Bertha in zone? We got this one and this one. This one like clearly belongs to somebody already. This one is still in the fire station. I'm gonna get this building. Really not ideal though. Cause I'm probably gonna have to rotate out of it again into blue. But there's like three cars already posted in blue. I'm gonna try to kill anybody rotating this side if there is anyone. Because their, their choice would likely be to come into my building too. I don't think there is anyone though. I didn't see or hear anything the entire time we were in that other building. Got five people left. Probably somebody in here. Yes, yeah, we gotta go blue. I don't know what I want to do here. Like I might like I might just play the car over here or something. And then hope we get zone rotate out. Jesse moving. I'll drive. That's what I was talking about before. Like, he can just choose not to die to me there. Hopefully there's nobody in these bushes. I don't want to fight this, but I don't want him to just have free, like, rain to beam my car because I need this car. This is very good for me. doing Gas is inbound. I'm driving. Gas is moving. Target area is marked. Send it. Strike three one, good job. Strike it back. No, I wanted to reload, bro. No hits on that run. That was so awkward, dude. If I had custom T binds, I think I would definitely make reload and get into the car two different buttons. Cause like whenever I try to use my car as cover and reload, it's like such a scuff situation. That was such a free win too though. Like honestly, like once I airstrike his car, there's not really much he can do there. Like, even if he has aimbot, there's not much he can do there. He's in a really, really bad spot. And I saw him behind the car. That's why I, like, drove the car to, like, go thirst the guy that I downed. Because, like, I put my Bertha in between him and the guy down. We could thirst the guy down and then just, like, turn on him and get the easy kill.